Roger Langridge, writer of everything, but most recently Snarked, right? Is that Snarked the newest is, one? Is, um, is my most recent, uh, most recent thing that isn't uh, a corporate property, I suppose. Oh. I'm also writing Popeye. Yes, you are. All right, very good. Well, my first question for you is, how did you get started working in comics? Um, well, I... Uh, basically drew every day since I was six. I decided I was going to be a cartoonist when I was six years old. And um, around the time uh, when, I, when I was at university, I started sending things to the university newspapers, and uh, that was me getting my first stuff in print. Um, and things sort of rolled off from there. Um, I left New Zealand, which is where I grew up, and came to London, which had a comic industry, uh, because New Zealand doesn't have a comic industry, so I, I moved somewhere that did have one, and um, banged on doors and hassled people until they relented and gave, in, and gave me a job. Very good. Well, you said that you um, were a comics fan as a kid. Who were some of your influences? I used to read um, a lot of Disney comics. Before I could read, in fact, I was a Disney comics fan. Carl Barks was, was my, my big favorite. Um, Perfect. Even before I knew his name. Um, yeah. The good, the good guy. The good yeah, artist. Good artist. Yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, there was a lot of uh, British weeklies in, uh, in New Zealand that I grew up reading. So there were things like um, cartoonists like Ken Reed and Leo Baxendale who used to do these things for kids' weeklies. Um, I really loved those guys. Uh, I, I read a lot of Marvel in DC, I suppose. Um, and in the 70s when I was growing up, uh, DC were doing these big 100-page things with reprints from all throughout the history. So right. I was getting exposed to things like Jack Cole and, um, you know, early Kirby, some, some of the really good cartoons from, like, the whole history of comics. Perfect. So, um, uh, there, was, there was a Smithsonian book of newspaper comics, which was a real item, and that really sort of changed, changed the direction I was going to my life. Perfect. Um, yeah. All right. Those things. Um, what are you currently working on? Well, uh, right now I've, I've just finished working on Smart. I've finished that at uh, the end of last month. Uh, issue 12 completes the story. Yeah. So, uh, at the moment, um, I'm working on Popeye, and um, I'll be talking to Boom while I'm here about uh, what I'm going to do for them next. Uh, one of the options is some more stories with the, the characters from Smart, which I'd like to do. But, uh, Very good. Uh, depends if, if they're uh, amenable or not. So, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Fair enough. All right, my next question is, what graphic novel or comic have you read recently that you would recommend for, for children or for teens? Ah, oh, for children or for teens. What have I read recently that I would recommend for children or for teens? I'm drawing a blank, I'm sorry. Um, this is embarrassing. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I've read recently, never mind what, what would be suitable. Um, it's hard. By this time in the weekend, people's brains are kind of mushy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, well, you know, I've read Adventure Time recently. Um, I, sorry to plug my unpublished book. You know, no, that's I, all right. I, I read it on the way, on the plane on the way over, and I thought it was really good. I thought it was really a fun book. Um, with lots of neat ideas. I mean, I don't know the TV channel. I've only, known, I've only read the comics. But um, the comics seem, seem pretty, pretty fun. Yeah, and if they stand alone, that's that's actually says a lot. Yeah, yeah. For a licensed comic, yeah. Perfect. My last question, this is a librarian one. If you were stranded on a desert island, and you know you're going to be picked up, it's not the last book you're ever going to get to read, but what book would you bring with you? Um, I'd probably take um, ECC Girls Pop Right. Uh, I've, I've reread them over and over again since it's been. And, um, yeah, and the new editions of Panagraph from Panagraph are absolutely beautiful, so I'll probably float home on one of those anyway. Probably. Um, but uh, yeah, no, they're really dense and really funny, and, and they reward repeated readings. Fantastic. Thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, you talking with me. I'm, I'm happy to do it. Thank okay. you.